Today we have an exciting panel, a lineup of fantastic and fascinating guest speakers uh, who each have a unique passion for today's subject on building a more sustainable world and will no doubt inspire all of us to make changes to the way we all think and we all live our lives as well as we look to protect the planet for the future. So Lauren, welcome. You've had a staggering um, you know, achievement in what you've been doing as an entrepreneur, as an influencer, as a businesswoman and that zero waste lifestyle that started it all for you um, is something quite incredible. So I guess what, what, what was the moment you had that spark and that realization that led you on this journey um, in living a zero waste lifestyle? My background um, is in environmental science. I never thought that I would be focusing on, on trash for a living, but it, it just ended up that way. And for me, I realized studying sustainability that there's a really big difference between learning about sustainability, talking about sustainability, proselytizing about sustainability, and living sustainably. I think for a really long time, I pushed the burden on of sustainable living on everybody else and, and really otherized the problem. I decided to, to make a difference in the way that I was living my life and, and actively try to reduce my daily waste. So it started with saying no to single use plastics, buying all my clothing secondhand, doing things like composting, which is one of the best things that any of us as individuals can do to reduce waste. Um, and ultimately 10 years later, it's resulted in me effectively bringing my waste down to zero. One of the big areas of growth for Diageo is around partnerships, consortiums, really working with you know brilliant people to find innovation gaps or change societal norms to help us get there. I know you're partnering with the Johnny Walker brand now, so maybe tell us a little bit, a sneak peek for the group around about what are the, some of the plans and the things that you're working on? So I'm excited to be working with Johnny Walker on amazing concepts that they have coming up in the UK. Um, I'll be partnering with an amazing entrepreneur and bartender, Ryan, um, from The Lion in the UK, and we'll be working on um, product itself. We'll be working on developing the most sustainable bar concept we could dream of. Um, and just excited to be working with such a large company who is more surprisingly than I could have imagined invested in making positive impact within the supply chain and within the way they're running their business. Arnaldo, one, one, one area we wanted to talk to today and people are getting more and more interested in all the time is uh, the acceler acceleration to a low carbon world. So we're looking at reducing and uh, offsetting our carbon emissions. We're committed to net zero in our operations by 2030. We know that 10% of our total carbon footprint on the world is in our own operations. Um, the other 90% is in our suppliers' operations. So what's happening on the ground uh, and what kind of impact is that really having? If we look at, um, at the region, so across EABL, we're looking to start using solar energy and biofuels um, in a big project which we're calling the Biomass Project. And we're looking to reduce our carbon emission by 95% across East Africa. And so, you know, I think that's going to be a game changer. Reducing our emissions is not just dependent on us, but also our entire value chain. When we talk of, I keep mentioning grain to glass. So it's not good enough for us as a business to reduce our, our carbon emissions if um, our suppliers and partners um, across our value chain are not working to do that. So we were able to, using a tool, um, we were able to map out the carbon emission of all the distributors across Kenya. So we mapped out all their carbon emissions, and then we've also mapped out how many trees that need to plants to offset. Ben, the, the seed lip story is an incredible one. Um, the world's first distilled non-alcoholic spirit. I think seed lip could have been anything. I, I really genuinely believe that, you know, this is born out of my absolute love, fascination for the natural world, and much of that instilled in me as a child growing up on a farm, surrounded by agriculture, by, by nature, by animals. Um, and my family history goes back over 320 years farming in England. So I, I kind of feel, to be honest, you know, like my blood runs green. Um, and the, the trick or the, hopefully the, the kind of clever bit with with creating Seedlip was selfishly, it's been a way to combine 
everything that I love, value, uh, and thinks important, um, great real ingredients, a care and a love and appreciation for the natural world with something that meets a need that people have in their lives of wanting to drink better and wanting something that's not full of sugar uh, and pink and got an umbrella in and treats you like a child and to have something that's delicious and grown up. But also it's a, a win for people in society um, who want a decent non-alcoholic drink. I'm convinced that the kind of nature knows the answer to everything and anything. And I love saying this, we grow our gift boxes. I, I, I say that again, because I love saying it. We grow our gift boxes. They grow out of the, uh, the root structure of mushrooms called mycelium uh, in eight days. They decompose without a trace in less than 40. I live by this mantra that once you know better, do better. I think when we, sometimes when we look at climate change and the whole conversation, it, it seems such a huge um, you know, topic and something that and we feel so small that I'm one person, I can't make a difference. But what I've learned especially is that, you know, do your bit. So really the first thing that I suggest to anyone to do, which might sound weird, um, but changing all of our habits feels weird and clunky sometimes anyway, is um, looking in your garbage can or your bin, you'll find that the majority of your trash is actually food waste. Um, food waste, when it goes to a landfill, breaks down using anaerobic digestion or digestion without the presence of oxygen and releases methane, which is a significantly more uh, potent warming gas than carbon dioxide over a short time frame of about 100 years. And so by keeping our food waste out of landfills, it's an amazing way to stop the warming impacts of methane and, and create more positive environmental impacts. So I'm a huge fan of composting. Born Ben Arnaldo. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining.